know, there are so many women that have inspired me. I think about my mom who immigrated here from Israel, created a new life, created a family, and really had to navigate spaces in her own way of accessibility. The English as a second language. It's International Women's Day, a day to recognize women who have paved the way for others. Mayan Ziv is one of those women. She's 31 years old, but when she was a student at Ryerson writing her thesis, she started something called Access Now. I was born with my disability. I've used a wheelchair throughout my life, and I've constantly struggled to find access to restaurants, to stores, to hotels when I've traveled. I'm constantly facing barriers of not knowing what I'm up against when I get there. So access Now is a mobile platform that allows anyone, regardless of their ability, to search for, rate, and discover information about the accessibility of places and experiences. Since then, it's grown into a worldwide platform serving 35 countries and counting. When we talk about measuring accessibility, when we talk about the importance of diversity and inclusion, we cannot forget that the lived experience of disability is so critical to informing that progress. Mayan has become a huge voice in the world of accessibility. She says she found this voice through photography. I found my voice really through photography initially connecting with people and telling them stories about what I was seeing in the world. Access Now is available in the App Store and at accessnow.com. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.